being there at the end of the week was the call from day one, and never a truer word was spoken. Despite the sprint spirit some brought to the table, the sure and steady approach was what brought the greatest rewards. Hayden McKenzie played second fiddle all week to a fast and furious Glen Inkster, but he won through in all comers four wheel drive and outright, making a two from two after Targa Hawks Bay earlier in the year. Obviously it was a shame there was a couple of com competitors like Glen and, uh, and Lee that have uh, fallen out due to mechanicals, but no, really happy to get two under, under our belt and uh, bring on next year. Heartbreak for David Rogers in the second to last stage. A blowing engine handing second in all comers and third on the podium to Jason Gill, who after a tepid start and a car he's been developing, will be very happy with that result. Well from where we were at the start of the week I've got to be stoked with that effort, so yeah, I assume we got third so that's awesome. Winner of production two wheel drive is Martin Dippy and a second outright reflects the good weather that stopped the four-wheel drive march up the outright leaderboard. A massive 11 minutes clear of second in class Jerry Fryer. Yeah, no, really pleased, really pleased. Uh, pleased with the two-wheel drive boys. Uh, those four-wheel drive boys go very fast, so um, yeah, nice to be home one piece. Uh, we car's gone well and uh, Jonah's done a great job calling the, um, the signal, so a lot of fun. Production four-wheel drive goes to Graham Drummond, six minutes clear of John Hancock. I can't put it into words, but they're finishing, uh, getting to the end of this uh, marathon, super marathon, uh, bloody amazing, yeah. He didn't let up at any point this week, so a deserved win to all comers two-wheel drive, Marcus Van Klink, delighting to the end with some spirited driving, with Rob Darrington in second. Yeah. Yeah, we're over the moon. It's been a it's been one of the longest weeks I can ever remember. But uh, the car didn't want to get come here. Uh, gratefully, anyway, it's caused a few griefs today. But uh, I'm happy to be here. And in classic, a dominant performance from a returning Bevan Claridge in the big V8 Commodore. Mark Kirkman, in. he's a very good driver. Yep. Just unfortunate that what's happened to him, but. You know, at the end of the day, you've got to finish to win it, don't you? With the normally quick Mark Kirk Benand sidelined, the classic charge was left to another KB, Uncle Barry. But the best he could do was claim the second class spot. He did, however, take victory in the self-established Fossils class with a decisive win in the age handicap. In the two-day regional competition, veteran rally man Bruce Herbert was too good for his competition in the well-presented Mitzi Evo 10. So the 25th anniversary Targa New Zealand is done. It's been a fantastic week of racing across the roads of the North Island, through some spectacular scenery and weather that defied the predictions. Nothing left but to crack the top off a bottle or two talk some nonsense and look forward to what 2020 will bring with the ultimate road race.